Hi Aquarius, welcome to your fe February general reading. So, um, what is this reading about and who is it for? Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and um, also if you're spying on an Aquarius. It's going to be about what the month is generally going to look like, what kind of challenges you're going to face, the vibes that you're putting out, and then giving you like a specific item of focus or like a goal to achieve. We're going to look at the areas of work, finance, career, your love life, whether you're single or coupled, we'll do both individually, um, your personal growth and development for the month. And then I'm also going to um, let you know a crystal that you can use specifically for um, Aquarius people in the month of February to help you work through all of this stuff. Um, those of you who don't follow me on social media might not know, but I'm really obsessed with crystals and their ability to heal and help us um, you know, with everything going on in our life. So let's go ahead and get started. So Aquarius, in general, what is your month of February going to look like overall? And we get, um, it's really kind of a challenge to leave things from the past in the past, okay? That's kind of a thing that you're going to be struggling with. Additional challenges are as a result of having that sort of energy being able to really move yourself forward in a positive direction. Now, the thing is, is you're honest with yourself about that, like you recognize that this is an issue, yet you're not taking the mental steps to change it. Does that make sense? So what are the vibes that you're putting out into the universe in general in February? And it says, well, that you're not feeling real deep, <laughs> like you're not going within, that you know, things are not super emotional for you. And it's more of this attitude of like, I just don't wanna, therefore I'm not. And that's okay, everybody has times like that. You know, my mom um, died last month and today was one of those really hard days for me. I didn't wanna feel my feelings, so I just turned all of her pictures around in the house because I just couldn't function if I was gonna be looking at her face. You know, it, so that's kind of what your month is like in February, kind of like the energy that you have, you just don't want to deal with some things and that's okay to take a break. Um, so your ultimate goal overall for the month of February or that area of focus is healing, but that it has to be a choice, okay? You have to decide that you want to face these emotions. You've decided perhaps in February that, uh, I just don't wanna, so I'm not, you know? But then this is what happens. You, you know, waters represent our emotion and this is all choppy and stuff. And it's like you've put up this little wall here of stones <laughs> um, to try to keep things more balanced. But at some point they're all gonna build up and they're gonna go over and then it's gonna create like an emotional imbalance like for you regardless. These waves are gonna crash over this wall that you've built. So you might wanna start working on it bit by bit by bit. So your goal is to realize like, okay, do I wanna stay angry? Do I wanna stay, you know, whatever feeling you're feeling, sad, hurt, betrayed, um, afraid, or do I wanna start to choose to heal? So that's kind of your theme for the month. Now, specifically in regards to work, career, or finance, what does it look like for you overall in February? Um, you have very clear insight about what's going on there. Um, but if you have a partnership at work or um, you have a business partner, things like that, you might find that you don't have a lot of good, um, you don't have a lot of opportunity to make decisions and maybe you're just not kind of on the same page this month. So they might be kind of stepping on your toes. Somebody that you work closely with at work could be doing so. You're not necessarily seeing eye to eye. Specifically, um, a challenge for you 
is to be able to give and receive at an even balance in regards to your money or into the effort or energy or work that you're putting into something. So this is a month where it's challenging to decide, like to know how much money do I put into my business or how much money do I put into um, a specific stock or something like that in order to yield a result that is worth it. Okay, so that's a challenge. Now, um, let's see if we can get some guidance on how to deal with that. And they just say, remember that life isn't always fair. But, um, you know, if you continue to work really, really hard, we often give up right before something good happens. And they're like, don't do that. Even if the burdens that you have this month in regards to work, career, finance, whatever, seem like more than you can bear, know that they're actually not. And you know, that psychic awareness that you have with that moon card in reverse, it's popping up here again. You see how the moon is full? So it's saying that, you know, by the time that you get to the full moon in February. I wish I had my planner in here so I could tell you when that is. Um, by the time that you get to the next full moon, not the one early in February or the last day of January, the one after, <laughs> which might actually be in March. Anyway, um, whenever that is, by the time that you get there, things will be a lot more clear and they will be a lot better, okay? Now, in uh, regards to a kind of goal that you could set. Oh, sorry, I forgot to see. What kind of vibes are you putting out in regards to like business, work, money? Um, <laughs> that maybe you you are really generous with your time, your energy, your money. That you might be um, like the kind of person who's easily taken advantage of. Uh, but not that you're stupid. Like you're aware of this and you do it anyway because you're a good, kind person. So you might be known as a good tipper or something, or somebody who works really hard. Um, so you're admired for that. You might not see the benefits of continuing to do that in February. You might not see those until March, but they will come for you. Okay, so your overall goal in regards to work, career, finance in the month of February is to let go of resentment. Now this is interesting because this is related to the sacral chakra and um, spoiler alert, so is your crystal stone of the month that I pulled for you. So the lesson in this is, um, you know, when you're feeling resentful, you've gotta know uh, why do you feel that way and then be willing to release that feeling. So really what's happening when this month is sort of about healing for you and things like that is that the resentment that you're carrying poisons your ability to be able to heal, right? Because every day that you carry that is a day that you're allowing negativity into your life, even on a subconscious level. So anyway, the goal is become mindful of your reasons for staying angry and begin to let go of negative feelings, you know, and like be gentle with yourself. Like by the end of the day, then think about, okay, is there anything that I was like really successful at letting go of and pat yourself on the back? You know, um, it's kind of like this energy of deciding what your focus is gonna be. Because what we think about, we bring about. So if we're gonna focus on the things that are negative in our life, if we're gonna focus on our lack, if we're gonna focus on, you know, somebody who said something bitchy to us, well, that's gonna affect us for the rest of the day and it's just gonna make things worse. So we get to make the decision on how we're gonna feel and what we're going to release. And so that in regards to work, there is some shit there that you have to let go. Okay, in regards to your love life, if you are single, what does it look like for you overall in the month of February? You might not be meeting people who want the same things as you. Um, you just like, let's say that you want a long-term relationship, you might be meeting people who want a fling. Or if you're the person who just kind of wants like a fun, you know, sexual tryst or adventure, you're meeting people who want a long-term kind of option. Now, if you are a coupled um, Aquarius, it's saying that you might not be holding on to your partner as tight as they would like you to. Um, and this is not something necessarily unusual for Aquarius because you can be 
a little bit aloof at times. You definitely need your own space and freedom and there's nothing wrong with that. Your partner should know that about you, but they just may need something a little extra from you this month. Um, the challenges that you might be facing if you are single is to not let things get dramatic and to find some enthusiasm and um, excitement about trying to date or manifest somebody into your life. Now, the avoiding drama is going to just be because, you know, if you're attracting something to you or you're meeting people that are opposite of what you're hoping to find, you could either they or you, either person, could be trying to convince themselves that, oh, we can make this work, or oh, I can change their mind. Like, if we just go out for like long enough, like they'll just decide that they want what I want, or that this is really fun. And the reality is that, nah, maybe not so much. So um, avoiding <laughs> drama is going to be a challenge. So you just have to be really, really communicative and upfront and clear about that, and the fact that um, you realize that things aren't going to change, that you can't change each other, that it's like sold as is, right? Okay, now if you are coupled, what's a challenge for you in the month of February? And they say um, the challenge here is to learn from past mistakes, to take the knowledge that you have and make things better because we're stuck on this feeling of like, you know, things just aren't fair. It's just not fair. And until you can let go of that, Things aren't going to become more fair. They're not going to get better. So that's your challenge. It's like a very mental process for you. It's not so much heart process. It's more mental. It's wrapping your head around it. Not much different than your work challenge or your career or finance challenge. Whereas like, what do you let go of just to find peace? Okay. Now, um, what kind of vibes are you putting out this month if you are single? Well, that you're unselfish, and that's a really nice quality. I love it. But you might also, conversely, be putting out this vibe of, like, you're not very into people, or you're not very emotional, or you're not very loving. So while you're a generous person, you might not be very affectionate or things like that. Um, so how do you kind of change that vibe that you're putting out there? And they say, well, it's, it's hard work. <laughs> it's hard work to convince people how you really are because everybody forms their own opinion regardless of what you do or say. So it's almost like, eh, fuck it, who cares? Because we already know this month we're probably not meet, meeting people who are aligned with what it is that we desire anyhow, so who gives a shit? Okay, so that's interesting. As far as those of you who are coupled, whoa! Okay, what kind of vibes are you putting out? They say, um, it's some of you might be putting out a super spiritual vibe, which is cool. Um, but for the rest of you, it's almost like this vibe of, I have bent over backwards trying everything that I can in our relationship to make it work, and we just don't work. Okay, now, but for the rest of you who are um, in happy relationships, because that's, I want to say that's for like 15 to 20%, okay? It was just like a special message for some of you. For the rest of you, the vibe that you're putting out is that you do have a lot of focus. You're not confused about what you want, and what you ultimately want is happy, and you're putting this happiness and joy vibe out there, so that's good. Okay. Um, ultimately, what is your area of focus or reflection, your kind of goal, if you are single in the month of February? Um, to enhance your physical health. So like, physically, where do you need to do better? Do you need to drink more water? Do you need to start getting exercise? Do you need to get more sleep? Things like that. If you are able to implement whatever this item is into your life, like more routinely, it will pay off for you and your love life in unexpected ways. Now, for those of you, maybe because you're less crabby, if it's to start going to the gym, maybe that's where you meet your hottie. It's going to vary for every person. Okay, so for those of you who are, um, you know, this is weird and I don't know who this is for. It's for one specific person, but 
if you decide, like, I need to eat healthier or something like that, and you go to a juice bar, okay, like, you're like, oh, this is my goal. I'm going to go to this, like, juice bar once a week. You will meet your match there. I just got that intuitively. So that's for one of you. <laughs> huh. If it ends up to be you, please um, contact me. Leave it in the comments or send me an email or something and let me know how that all works out. Somebody's going to meet their soulmate in a juice bar. Weird. Okay. Anyway. I've never actually been to a juice bar. Well, that's a lie. I've been to Jamba Juice before at the mall. Um, okay. If you are coupled, what is your area of focus or your goal? And it says, visualize a healthy body and mind. So it's not actually that different from the single Aquarius. It's kind of a theme. So um, this is about inner and outer health, though. So, you know, if you are one of those fitness buffs and, you know, you've got a super healthy, active lifestyle and you eat well and all that stuff, I would pay attention more to my emotional insides just because all of this green here does represent the heart chakra. And so it could be about your emotional health. You know, it could be about your mental health, but your mental health affects your emotional health. So I'm going to say this is probably for more of you than not like I'd say 80-20, this is not so much about your outward health, your physical body and stuff like that. This is your emotional health. So it says, do whatever it takes to become the healthiest version of yourself possible, um, whether that's emotionally or whether that is physically, although for most of you, it's going to be emotionally. And so um, maybe you want to join a support group for something. Maybe you want to start reading a self-help book. Maybe you want to start seeing a therapist or a couples counselor or whatever. There's got to be an action that way that helps you to progress towards greater health on the inside. Okay? So, in regards to your personal growth and spiritual development, in general, for all Aquarians, they want to say that um, focus on your ultimate happiness and be mindful of when you're happy in current, like, present moments, okay? Really recognize that and go, oh, I am really happy. I'm super happy in this minute. I'm really glad I hit that green light. It's almost like gratitude journaling, but just in a mental way, if that makes sense, for the little things, like stopping to smell the roses. Okay. Sorry about that tangent. Okay, so here we go. In regards to your spiritual growth or personal development, Aquarius, what does it look like for you overall in the month of February? Um, you're finding your strength through spirit, uh, and if you're not yet on a spiritual journey, you're at least thinking about it and being forward focused and knowing in a certain way that some of your strength is going to come from outside of you, okay? That it's going to come from spirit, from God, a lot, um, angels, the universe, uh, vibrations, whatever it is that you believe in, that some of your strength and some of your happiness does come from there. And then it kind of helps you to look forward and say, how can I bring more happiness into my life? And to, then to realize, oh, maybe it is by spiritual development or growth, right? Um, or just like seeing the benefit of that mental gratitude journaling that you're doing or physical gratitude journaling or goal setting or something like that. Because Aquarius, even though you're an air sign, you have a very earthy vibe in the month of February. It's about very like tangible things that you can experience and then um, acknowledging those and making them better and experiencing reward from it, even if the reward is delayed until March. Okay. So, what is kind of your challenge in the month of February regarding your spiritual growth? And it's saying new ideas on how to further that. You know, like where do I start? And actually, this is something that I do often in readings for people where it's like, okay, I am feeling a pull towards my spirituality. Where should I start to develop that first? And for each individual, it's going to be a little bit different, but I am getting that for Aquarius specifically, a good way to start is um, not, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I feel like for most Aquarius, it's going to start with crystals and then for about 30% of you, um, moving on to pendulums, if you're already, 
if you're already like kind of familiar with that. Does that make sense? And then look, they're like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so pendulums are a very um, helpful tool for your own kind of self growth or like if you decide that you want to learn how to read your own tarot, things like that. So they're like, yes, for uh, certain Aquariuses, spe like specifically, pendulum is going to be very important, but crystals in general, for the majority of you, I'm going to say 80% of you, it's going to be crystals, 20% of you Reiki or energy healing, and then 30% because I know 80 plus 20, but then 30% within that crystal group is going to be pendulums. Strange. Okay. Um, so what kind of vibes are you putting out in regards to your own spiritual growth? That you've just been unlucky. So some of you are like in this attitude of, well, I'm not really that psychic. I'm not really that intuitive. I don't really interpret the messages. Fact of the matter is everybody is. You really are. It's just a matter of believing that you are and then being open to these experiences because as a result, you will grow more and more psychic. Everybody has this ability. We only use like, what, 20% of our brain. Maybe the other 80% of your brain is super psychic. <laughs> okay. Um, in regards to what kind of goals you should be setting for yourself uh, in the area of spirituality in your life, it says observing your attitude. And again, this is related to that sacral chakra. So you've got to see like mental, again, mental energy, mentally, are you focused on things that are positive or are you focused on things that are negative? And you've got to decide like, okay, I'm going to focus on the things that are positive. Sorry, my computer just totally went bonkers. Okay. I hope you can still see me. <laughs> okay. So, um, the, when we were talking before about like this kind of mindfulness, that's the actual written goal on this card. It says, become mindful of whether you're unconsciously positive or negative. So to bring everything full circle, those things that we are avoiding in general, we have to make the decision to observe whether we are with our subconscious, because these are things that we're pushing away, where we're trying to build a wall to prevent, those things are going to come crashing over those rocks, if you remember that image in the beginning. So our subconscious is going to flare up in our life. And, you know, is it giving us a positive push, a positive message? Is it making us feel better or worse? Because if you deal with that shit, then it's going to be positive. It's going to be like a loving, flowing vibe. So your decision, yeah? Okay, now... In regards to your crystal of the month, you had carnelian, which is all about your sacral chakra and things like that. Um, I did put the carnelian stone that I pulled specifically on my website if you wanted to purchase that one, but it doesn't have to be that one. No pressure there. You can just go out and get one yourself from your local rock store or like whatever, eBay, Amazon, doesn't matter. Um, but carnelian, what is this about? It's all about courage. It's about self-empowerment. It gets rid of fear, rage, um, jealousy, resentment. It gives you energy. It gives you motivation, which you might need on your spiritual journey. It gives you passion and desire, which you might want as that was a challenge for single Aquarius. <laughs> um, and then it's also going to like kind of increase your ability to, uh, be creative or enhance your libido, your sex drive, like that kind of a thing. So um, anyway, that's the carnelian. This is your stone of the month. If you want to work with stones, some people like to tuck them in their bra. This one, um, so I don't know if you know, have you, I'm not into Yanni eggs. To be honest, I can't promote them because I've never used one. I'm afraid I'd have an embarrassing moment where I just like slide down the leg of my pants and everybody would be like, what's up with this? rock on the floor. <laughs> but some people do put crystals in their coochie. Now, um, I would say make sure it's not a rough stone, make sure it's like something smooth like this, as opposed to like, you know, this one or, or this one. <laughs> but the reason why I bring this up is that if this is something you're comfortable with, because of the chakra that it is related to, that's where it's going to do the best work, so to speak. 
So it, it's related to like your sexual chakra. So um, you'll have to excuse my ugly shorts. I don't know. I can't get quite high enough. Um, so it's going to go. Here's my belly button. If I'm going to lay down and use this stone, I'm going to put it like right here. You know, between my belly button and my and the top of my um, bone there. Whatever that's called. My pubic bone. <laughs> Okay, that got awkward really quick, so I'm just going to go see you for love readings in February and then again in March. Bye.